Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on your average roofer, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly install starter shingles. Even rate starter shingles are one of the most overlooked parts of a roof. And today I'm going to show you guys how to properly install them and tell you exactly why you need them on your roof. Most shingle manufacturing companies come with their own line of starter shingles. And most of the time they come like this. They have a perforated line across the middle and two tar lines. The reason there's two tar lines is because each shingle gets broken in half and that creates two starter strips. Some contractors will opt out of using actual starter shingles and they will use a three tab shingle or even their architectural shingles that they're installing on your roof and what they'll do is they'll either put it up your gable like so and the problem with this being there is no tar adhesion strip or they will put it with the tar out but what that causes is a little bit of a bump in your roof not super noticeable if you're in a pinch this does work however it is recommended that you use actual starter shingles because they cover 50 percent more than any regular bundle of shingles when you go to start the installation of your starter shingle be sure to notice that your actual shingle length is approximately the same it's about an inch difference but if you start with a full starter strip shingle these are eventually going to line up your water lines will match up and what that's going to cause is a leak right at the eve of your roof and that's definitely something you don't want when it comes to starting your roof most contractors will run their first starter strip up the gable and then they'll bring their bottom starter strip flush up against it that does work however the problem i see there is you no longer have tar adhesion here so what i like to do is i like to cut a little bit off my first starter strip on my eaves and then my gable starter will go on and this will actually come to overlap like so and what that means is i have full tar adhesion all the way around the roof so when it comes to installing your first starter what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start with your gable and what you're going to do here is you have a drip edge which is approximately one inch or one knuckle for most people uh, inside the roof line so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come off of that about a quarter of an inch and that'll give you your perfect spacing on here and then you're going to go ahead and nail that down So like I said earlier, when it comes to installing your first eave starter strip, if you just ran it, like I said, all the way over, the problem with that being when you go to put your first shingle on, if you look down at this end, your water lines are going to match up. And that's definitely a no-no on a roof because that's going to cause a leak and it's going to cause plywood damage and it's going to cause your fascia board to rot right off your house. So what you're going to want to do with your first starter is you're going to want to take approximately 10 to 12 inches off of it and not drop it and you're going to start with that so there's your piece with your 10 to 12 inches off you're going to run that right over to the corner so your tar lines are touching and same thing you're going to come a quarter inch down and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to nail that in place Now that you got your first two started, you're going to take your next starter shingle, full shingle, all the way down along the eaves and all the way up the gable. So now that I've reached my far end gable, uh, you can see I put my bottom eave starter on, but I haven't nailed the end. The reason for that is I like to drop this one down 
And as you can see, I still got the full tar adhesion all the way around the corner of the roof. So that concludes today's video on how to install your starter strips and the importance of them. Stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be showing you guys how to shingle your roof. And until next time, guys, remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.